This episode is sponsored by LadyFootLocker.com. You have a lot going on. Work, school, friends, kids, cocktail parties. Go prepared and look good while you're doing it. Head to EverydayDriggers.tv slash Lady to save 10% off orders $50 or more at LadyFootLocker.com. Common Man Cocktails, I'm your host, Eric Schomer. Today, we're going to create the Interstate to Hell. This recipe comes from John. It's got one ounce of Jack Daniels, one ounce of Jägermeister, one ounce of Amaretto, three ounces of cranberry juice. You're yelling. Done. I am yelling because I am excited. I am so excited to do this again. Um, we had a little recording issue again, so this will be the second take. We so just I really like making drinks, so we're doing seven this week. We are actually going to be doing seven, depending on if you record the next one or hey, not. Maybe you'll remember this time, too. We could too. be on eight. So, we're going to do our one ounce of everything. Whoa! You get your herbal liqueur. You've got your base level. I don't really want to say base level. I don't know if that's fair. Um, your standardized. Uh, that's probably not fair, either. Uh, Jack Daniels. It's whiskey. It's not... Too expensive. You should be able to make this recipe if you have these three ingredients. If you don't, I think Amaretto is probably going to be the more expensive of them. Throw some ice in here over here. We don't need ice for the next show. All right. Let's shake this up. Drain that sucker into a Collins glass. You can pick your glass of choice. I'm a fan of the Collins. Get some nice foam growing, just rising to the top like hell. There you go, your deep, dark... There's a lot of foam in hell. Yeah. Oh, good to know. You can't breathe there. Um, kind of a dark iced tea look to it. If you wanted to garnish this, I don't even know what you'd do. I'd go with a couple cherries, really. It smells awesome. Like I'm right out. Believe it or not, since I've probably tried this before, the key takeaway from this, I get like a almond flavored pipe tobacco. That is what that tastes like to me. It's got the herbalness, like a leaf maybe, with the smoked like, I, I'm thinking it's the whiskey, like a like the barrel-y wood, barrel-y. almost barrel wood. Um, and the amaretto kind of is the flavor in there. Cranberry juice, not really getting too too much excitement in the cranberry juice. Uh, it adds to the color, but it, it, it adds a little dryness, actually, to the flavor. So you get a little dry tobacco in a good way. Sweet, a little bit of sweet. Nice color. Very flavorful and exciting. I'm excited. I think this is probably the best drink thus far this week because it's it takes these, two th- or these three ingredients along with the juice and brings something you don't get a lot. You don't get a lot of tobacco-like flavoring in your drinks. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it doesn't taste like you just chewed on tobacco. Don't get me wrong. It tastes like you're having a very flavorful experience. I like the smell of pipe tobacco. <laughs> Thanks for that revelation. <laughs> I, if I very had, flavorful if, experience. I like the smell of pipe tobacco. If I had a choice on a, on a, on a sin, um, I would go with pipes. I would say a pipe with some nice tobacco. I did that in college for a little bit. Yeah. Cigarettes, that's so old. They smell gross. This, good. It's like you go into a, like a, a smoke shop with pipe tobacco everywhere. That's what this drink symbolizes. That's where you'd find this best. If you don't, you should tell them at your next time you go to a pipe tobacco store that they need to serve this drink. I don't think they really serve drinks. They do in Boston. Yep. Of course, that was a cigar shop. Yeah, but those smell even nastier. True. Truth be told, this smells awesome. Well, it smells like Amaretto. Tastes awesome. Tastes like other things smell that have pipes on them. EverydayDrinkers.tv, we're teaching you how to drink.